Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. In this episode, we have the continuation of the story from our sister who was sharing with us her most painful experience in life and the evil things she had to do to become rich in life. In the previous episode, she took us through how her father maltreated her mother and siblings, which led into her stopping schooling. She again told us about how she came to the big city and met a lady by name Cora who took her in and promised to help her. We will be going to see if Cora actually fulfilled her promise and what led into her doing these evil things she was talking about in her intro. Now what she fears is that, she really feels that her days on this earth is almost finished and she feels death around here. This is what has prompted her to come out and talk about the things she has done in order to warn other young people out there to be aware of certain things that are going on and killing people at the end. Without taking much of your time, let us go and listen to her story. Don't forget to please subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. In about two weeks in her house I started noticing something. This was something I didn't understand. But I am not a child, so I put the things together and came to a conclusion. The thing was that men were coming into the house frequently. And when they do come, it is like they already know where her room was. I mean different men were coming to her. Some spent hours. One evening I wanted to ask her why they do come there. It was like she knew I wanted to ask her some questions. And so, she told me to go ahead and ask her whatever that was on my mind. Since she had allowed me, I asked her why men do come to her place and go straight into her room like that. She laughed and after that looked at me for a while. She said she was not going to tell me anything for now, but then, I will understand it when the time comes. Cora told me that, to be successful in life and have money in abundance, one must do things that ordinarily, he or she wouldn't do. She said because, it only takes people who are bold and are ready to take risk to make it in life. So, if I was ready to take bold decisions which might not seem normal, she is also ready to show me the way to make money just like herself. I was even more excited about what she had planned for me. From that moment on, I practically worshipped her like my whole existence depended solely upon her. That was how bad I wanted to have money. And what even made things worse was what I was seeing from her. The way people treated her when they come into contact with her. It made me have this feeling of wanting to be so much rich at all cost. We had finished eating one evening and I was watching television in the living room. She came to where I was and she was carrying some bottle of wine. She said that she was ready to introduce me to her source of income. And the wine was to celebrate my success even from the beginning. She poured some for me and she was already holding her own. We started drinking and after some minutes into the drink, I felt weird and weak. I started to feel for making love. Even though I wasn't full much in control of myself, I saw practically whatever happened. She started kissing me and touching every place that was sensitive. Before I knew it, she was going down on me. This was the best feeling that I will say I have ever felt when it comes to these things. When I woke up, I was in her room and she was also in bed naked just as I was. I tapped her and she woke up. I wanted to ask what happened. She smiled and said that, don't worry, whatever you think happened really did happen. And it was such a lovely and nice feeling for her. I didn't talk back at her for whatever reason that was. I just got up and walked out of the room. I went into my room and showered. Throughout that day, I kept on thinking about what had happened earlier. But the more I thought about it, the more I get confused about the whole situation. Because here is someone who has numerous guys coming over to her and here she was doing this with me. I started asking myself who really she was. That evening, she told me to go and accompany her to a place. On our way there, she told me that it was the man that we were going to meet that helped her reach the level of success that she had. But then, she asked if I was ever ready to do whatever the man will ask of me. Because, 
she wouldn't want to take me there and after knowing everything, I will say I cannot do again. I told her without thinking that, I was ever ready to go ahead with whatever it takes. Provided it does not involve killing of humans. She laughed and asked me, if she appears to me as someone who can kill. She told me they are nothing like killing of any human being. We got to the man's place and realized he was a traditional spiritualist. Because she had told me earlier that was where she got her money from, I was calm and was just going to see what happens. Everything they talked about proved that they know each other very well. I didn't think much about anything. My mind was fixed on getting from the place with good news. When Kara had told the man our reason for coming to his place that very evening, he did some small incantations to ask his gods if everything will work well for us. That was what he told us before he started. After that incantation, he smiled and said that the road is clear for us to go ahead with it. If only we were ready to start. I didn't know what we were going to do, and so, I couldn't say yes or no. It was Kara who said that, he can start with it. The man said that, Kara is aware of the procedure and it take long for us to finish. And we didn't come early. She said that, we were going to stay at his place that night to make sure we finish with whatever is there for us to do. The man then called one of his servants to bring me white cloth and asked me to change it into only that cloth he gave me. He said that, I will need to go through cleansing and then, after everything, he will tell me what is next for me to go through. The cleansing was for me to bath with some mixtures that I honestly do not know the ingredients. After washing myself with that mixture, he told me to go to the back of his place, there was this river, and I was told to go and wash myself in the river. But then, he told me some words to specifically say whilst I bathed in the river. Sorry I really have forgotten the exact words. But it was more like you are giving yourself to the powers that be, so that they can help you with whatever your needs are. That same night after finishing with bathing in the river, they prepare a food for all of us to eat. A room was prepared for us to go and rest. He told us that he will come and call me when the time is set for the next phase. And so, we went inside this room that was prepared for us. I asked Cora Wiles in the room the main reason I was to go through everything. She then told me that the kind of money I know she has is not as a result of the buying and selling that she does. She told me that she only needs something to do and then whatever money that she has will be linked to that business. It was more like people will now understand that she is into clothing business and so if she has money, it makes sense. So, I asked how them does she make her money. She told me that I will understand when I finish with all the things I was supposed to go through. She promised me that after everything I will know that it was worth it. So, the time came and the man called me into one room. In this particular room, there was no light except that there was this candle that was lit in the darkness of the room. He gave me something to drink when I got to the room. He then asked me to sleep on the floor with my face facing up. In about some few minutes after getting on the floor, I felt intoxicated and what I saw was, there were so many beings entering this man who was standing by me. After that, he started removing my clothes. And one thing is that, whatever he tells me to do from that time, I would just do it. I was completely naked on the floor. This man slept with me for hours. The pain I went through, I cannot describe it. It was like a very sharp knife cutting through my private part and entering my womb. After everything, one lady who was also at his service brought me some white clothes and asked me to just squat on it. As soon as I did that, brother, come and see blood. And you could see some things coming out of me like flesh. I was scared but because I wasn't fully of myself, the woman asked me to relax and everything will be all right in the morning. She then asked me to sleep for she was going to bring me something. She returned with something to drink to ease the pain. All this while, the man had gone out of the room and it was me alone. Some few minutes after I took that drink, I could feel that 
the blood had stopped flowing and I felt real dizzy. I honestly don't know how I slept. I woke up the next day around 2 p.m. In my sleep, I had this dream of me exchanging my womb for money. And the same man that we came to meet had actually paid for the womb. When I woke up, I could feel that I was no more the same person that came to the place. I felt something huge was out of my system. I still was feeling the pain because of the sore all over my private part. The woman came and called me out. I was again asked to go and wash myself in the river. But this time, it was the woman who did the bathing. After which, food was prepared for all of us to eat again. After eating, the man then gave me a black bag and told me that I should place this bag where no one can see, except someone who I have given access to. At every time I would be in my month flow, money will fill the bag. But then, he advised that I start work so that people will not suspect anything. And because of that, he gave me money in a briefcase. That amount was even something more that I was expecting. We returned home and I slept for almost two days without even getting to the living room. It was as if I had overworked for more than three months. Before leaving the place, the man told me that, when I see my first money in the bag, I should contact him, so he can tell me what to do and what not to do. He then gave me some medication to use at where I feel the sore and pains. It took me over a month before I felt that the pains were completely gone. After the first month, I went to open the bag and come and see money. I was overjoyed. So we called the man and that very day was also the saddest day of my life ever. This man told me that I can never give my family, I mean anybody I relate by blood any money or else suffer the consequences. The only good thing I can do is that I can give people who are not related to me by blood. How? How can this be? They are the very reason that I went through all the pains. I cried that whole day. Honestly, I really cried my heart out. Later Kara brought an idea. It was during this time she was throwing light on the idea that she told me why she needed someone to help her. She said that she couldn't give her family any money because of that same rules that I was faced with. And so, they felt she was a very wicked person. But when she met me at the woman's shop, she saw that fire to make it in my eyes. That was why she got so close to me. So that, if I also get involved, I will be giving her family money and she will also be giving my family money. She said she wanted someone who truly understands why she cannot give the money herself. So that has been the life that we have been living all these years. She will do everything for my family with her own money and I will do just that for hers. But then, I fear I will die very soon, because just this last December, Cora died. I woke up and went to her place only to find her dead in her bed. What really killed Cora is a mystery to me. I feel there is something huge over me anywhere I go. I fear my time will soon come. Please my sisters, don't rush into things that you have no idea of. There is more to life than just money. Right now, I wish I can turn things around. And I would have been happy with what we have. Please don't rush and lose your own life. Thank you brother, I hope my story serves as a lesson to someone out there. Don't forget to please subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. That's why we share these stories with you. This story tells me of how as a person you should not live to prove anything to anyone as long as you are on this earth. No matter how bad they may have treated you in the past, never live with the idea of trying to show them anything. Because at the end, you might end up hurting yourself in the process. Please also as men, let us learn to be more responsible in our decisions when it comes to some of these issues. When you give birth, as a man it is your responsibility to provide for the children that you have brought to this world. They don't care if you have 10 wives, but once you have brought them into this world, make sure their responsibilities are fulfilled. 
because it is clear that if her father did what he was doing for the other side of the family, she wouldn't be out there about to get herself involved in something she don't know the outcome. Even if as a father, you have issues with the mother of your children, it shouldn't affect the children in any way. I pray that we learn from some of these stories and live a better life. If not for anything at all, it pays to live a decent and better life. Stay blessed and be safe. Thanks for being a part of this growing family. Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like and share.